this movie right here popularized the concept of the Japanese onryo or vengeful spirit, which is essentially a spirit that, or an undead that was like killed in some sort of fit of jealousy, some some strong passion. They were killed, and uh, instead of their spirits going into the afterlife peacefully, they stay on Earth to exact revenge on others because of what has happened to them. So that is the Onryo and Sadako or Samara. This character right here is a classic example of one of those spirits. What is going on Draw2 Crew? Ramdi here with a brand new drawing tutorial for you guys and today I'm going to be showing you how to draw depending on how you look at it, either Samara Morgan or Sadako Yamamura from the Ring or Ringu. In this channel, I do a lot of step-by-step -step drawing tutorial videos of your favorite characters. So if you guys like what you see, uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below as well as that notification bell. And don't forget to like this video as well. I'm not huge on slasher horror movies or movies that have too much gore on them. Uh, the horror movies that I prefer are the ones that are uh, have a little bit of mystery to them, some supernatural, that kind of thing. So The Ring, the Ringu uh, is definitely one of my favorite horror movies and like I said in the intro the Japanese Onryo uh, a vengeful spirit is one of the things that is featured in these movies and um, in in personified by Samara or uh, if you're talking about the Japanese movie Sadako who are essentially characters that were killed and are now trying to avenge their wrongful deaths. All right, so before you start, make sure to read the description of this video. There you'll find a list of my drawing tools and some tips to help you succeed in this tutorial. Also, how to make tutorial suggestions if you guys have any, and best of all, a link to the coloring page that goes along with this video. So having said all of that, you guys, let's get right to our tutorial. All right, let's get started with our uh, Samara Morgan or Sadako Yamamura tutorial. I've got my paper in portrait mode and we're going to be drawing, uh, believe it or not, we're going to be drawing a TV first and then we're going to draw the TV stand with a VHS or a VCR in the middle. So let's go ahead and do that, you guys. So we're going to be doing uh, a few straight lines going across. So let's do that first. Here's the top of my TV. Now I'm going to do this by, by, by hand. But if you guys want to use a ruler, you go ahead and do that. All you want to do is make sure that the lines are parallel and they are at right angles with each other. Okay, so the TV is going to be not like a widescreen TV. It is an older TV, one of those, uh, uh, what you call a cath cathode ray tube TVs. And those TVs have a four by three resolution. In other words, they're, they're a lot more squarish, I guess. They're not the widescreen. Uh, kind of TVs that we're used to now. Okay, so I'm just roughing out kind of where I want the top and the bottom of that TV to go. And then we're going to draw Samara crawling out of that TV. Okay, so here we've got our lines and I'm going to draw the center line so that I can kind of get an idea of where or of how to draw the width of the TV. Okay, so I just drew a line going straight down the center. I'm again I'm using um, just my eye and freehanding it and if you can't do that if you need practice doing that uh, you can try you know um, using a ruler as well but what you want to do is you want to just create this rectangle that is almost a square as you draw the or as you create that TV you want to make it like this so this is about the shape of the TV that we want okay and once you have that what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase here and here just to keep things a little bit more clear so that you guys know how I'm going to draw the TV. Okay, there's our TV. I used to have a TV like this and I'm sure many of you guys did and maybe some of you guys still do. Okay, so the TV is pretty much done. We're gonna, the corners of the TV are a little bit curved. Actually here at the bottom, we're gonna fix that up a little bit. Now we're going to draw another couple of corners here. Actually, what I want you guys to do is I want you to draw a line going across from one corner to the other. That way you'll get a good idea of where that center of that TV is going to go and hopefully it all meets right at the center, smack dab at the center where this line goes down. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to draw the actual inside part of that TV 
and I'm going to draw this one with a bit of a curve because back then TVs were not flat screen. You know, they've, they've got a little bit of a curve to them. So my mind's got a little bit of a very, very faint curve like this. Okay, I'm going to do that there. Down this way. And then going across right. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw it right above here. A little bit higher than normal so here's normal but usually these old TVs there they've got all the buttons and all that stuff here at the bottom so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it up slightly higher like this so here's my TV I'm going to draw these curves here make sure that these curves are pretty consistent with each other the bottom doesn't matter so much because it will be covered by some arrow okay there you go there is our cathode ray tube TV. I'm going to double up on these lines just to give it that uh, bevel, which is essentially a way of saying it's raised. So I'm just going to go all the way across on the outside, just outlining these lines here. And then again, I'm not too worried about the bottom because it will be covered. Okay, there is roughly our television set, our 1990s style television set. Okay, there you go. And again, there are buttons over here, but we're not going to worry about those buttons. What we will worry about is the um, TV tray, TV stand, and I'm going to draw a line just underneath here. And hopefully you guys are still keeping your lines, you know, in line with each other, par like parallel like this. It's not crooked. Or anything so make sure you get a good idea okay here and here that's kind of where I want to see the distance from here to here you want to make sure it's the same on each side and then bring this line to that center this is going to be our vanishing point where it's, it's like a reference for our uh, cabinets and all that stuff. So there's the vanishing point right there at that dot. Okay. And vanishing point, it's kind of uh, part of a lesson on perspective. So every time you draw something, um, it all comes down to a point uh, somewhere on the page. And every time you draw something, you always want to make sure that you're drawing lines to the vanishing point. That way it'll look a little bit more, um, a little bit more realistic. Okay. Uh, a little, like if, if you if you do it, it'll make more sense. And if you don't, there's something off about it. Okay. So that's a single point perspective, I guess. So here, what I'm doing now is I'm drawing the lower part of this top panel. Okay. And then we're going to draw a compartment here. I'm going to draw two lines here, about this far away from the center. And then same thing on this side. Again, I'm just using my eyes here, going down like this and like this. Okay. And then I'm going to draw two more here going down. So these are like pillars. And again, on the other side, going down like this. Okay. And then the VHS is going to be at this top compartment here. One, I'm going to draw two lines like this. Okay, and again, this point towards that, towards that point right there. There you go. And then actually, well, I should have done it. We're going to draw the VCR over here and the VCR is going to be like this um, rectangle within this rectangle. It's going to look like that. There's our VCR right there. And that's where you pop the tape in to watch uh, the cursed videotape. Okay, there's the VCR. Two lines going into towards the vanishing point. Okay, and then here's a volume knob. Here's where you pop the VCR. Let me guys know if you still have one of these old technologies in your house. Maybe some of you do, maybe some of you guys don't. Here's where you pop the VCR in. Here is 
a bunch of buttons like the play, rewind, pause, fast forward, record buttons. There you go. And then I'm just going to draw some feet at the bottom here. One, and then two, right there. Okay. So I won't draw the bottom yet. What we'll do is we'll actually start drawing um, the image of the girl, Samara or Sadako, um, coming out of the TV. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is kind of get an idea of where the head is going to go. And it's going to be right around here. So what I'm doing is like a, an oval. And I'm not too worried about features or anything because it will be covered in hair. So the, the oval is going to be about this far, this much at the top, this much at the bottom. A little bit lower at the bottom actually than the top. Like a little bit closer here. Okay, there you go. There's the head. Okay, and then here is the kind of the, the back right there. And then the shoulder is going to come around here. And then it's going to go, the arm is going to go down this way. Okay. So there is our um, person or our character starting to come out of the TV. So now let's kind of draw um, the parts of the parts of the body, that kind of thing. And let's start with the hand. The hand is going to be the closest to us, like she's reaching out. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw um, right here, a curve like this first. Actually, bring that down lower. Right there. Okay. This goes down and then right around here like that. So it looks like a, a slice of pizza. And then I'm going to kind of do this as well. Okay. It looks kind of weird right now, but uh, uh, bear with me, you guys. I'm going to turn that into a hand somehow. And if you guys didn't know what Samara looked like, here's my reference photo right here that I'm using. So we're going to be drawing just the appendages. So you guys can see there's no, you can't really tell what the face looks like. And she is wearing like this nightgown or uh, an old style dress. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so let's go back here. And what we're going to do here is we're going to kind of draw fingers reaching out. So here's going to be the pointer finger. Okay, it's going to look like that. And then here's the middle finger right there. Okay, right here is the ring finger. So if you guys look at it like this, it kind of looks weird. And then pinky comes out like this. I made my pizza slice a little too big, but that's okay. Okay. Okay, and then now let's draw the, the thumb. It's going to be here. It's going to look like this. And then here it goes into the palm. Okay, so if you erase that pizza slice, then you'll get a good idea of of the hand. And what you want to do is you want to bring this like this now. Okay. So now it looks like the, the hand is reaching out towards you. And I apologize. I did make my pizza slice a little too big. Like what I wanted to do was this pizza slice here. So yeah, adjust it. Pause this video if you guys need to, to get that hand uh, as, as, as right as possible. Okay. So if you look at it here, it looks like one, two, three, four, and then here it just looks like with the thumb going out this way. And I've sort of exaggerated my thumb here. It looks longer than the other fingers when it's not supposed to. But uh, I'm doing that for effect. It kind of like, it just it makes it a little bit more weird and supernatural. Okay, there you go. Now let's draw this. Imagine that this arm is going back to the shoulder. Here's the shoulder right here. Okay, imagine that here's the forearm, and then here you have the bicep and the tricep. So here it looks like she's reaching out to you. 
Okay, so there you have it. Now let's draw the other arm. Shoulders here. She's a skinny girl. She's about uh, 12, 11 or 12 years old in this picture or when she died. So there's that arm. Okay, here's the forearm. And sorry, not the forearm. Here's the bicep and the tricep here. And then the forearm, it's going to bend. Here's the elbow right here. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the forearm going this way, about that much. Okay, and then I'm going to bend the arm so that it looks like this. Okay, so it looks like it changes direction right here. If I erase this, then you'll get a better idea of what I mean. Okay, close that off. And now what I want to do is draw four fingers, starting with this one. Middle finger, the ring finger, and then the pinky comes out. So you guys notice that it spreads out, okay? And perhaps it might be easier for you if you draw the pinky and the, and the, the index before you draw these two. And then thumb goes out like this and out like that. Okay, there you go. Now let's draw the, the um, um, nightgown, I guess I'll call it. So let's just cover this body up with uh, a cloth, just up to the elbow here. And it's tattered. And I'm going to draw it going across like this. see the elbow exposed there you go so I drew the opening of that and it looks like that okay now I'm going to draw the hair let's cover that round egg shape with just hair that goes down this is all gonna be covering his her head here fairly straight you see like little bits kind of going like this and it's supposed to be wet and you want to cover it going all the way down to here covering the VCR and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create like a bit of an anime hair effect which I think is fitting because it is a uh, based off of a Japanese uh, movie so if you just hide that and just start kind of individually, well, not individually, just start drawing those strands of hair or just where the hair kind of goes up and down. Okay, before you go any further though, uh, let's draw this forearm that's moving forward or that's forward. It's supposed to be in front of the hair. So here's our forearm. And then I'm going to draw the sleeve all tattered and everything right here. And then the sleeve kind of goes in between the fingers as well. So you want to keep that consistent. Draw folds right here. Okay, and then I'm going to erase this and this, and let's draw the fabric of the gown. Again, lots of folds. So I created this curved fold right there. There we go. Folds here. Here, I'm going to draw some folds as well. Okay. And then there's a seam right here that separates the shoulder from, from the, the, the body part of the, of the gown. And you see the same seam right here. 
and you see the hair just sort of going over the arm as it goes forward. Okay, and then once you have it all nice and done, just continue on with that hair, try to get it as best as you can. When you ink it, that's when you kind of want to draw the hair and the, uh, what do you call it, these streaks in the hair. Okay, there you go. All right. That's creeping me out as well. Looking good. Okay, so once you have that, you can erase the parts of the TV now that's covered and the VCR as well. Okay, um, right here, let's add some buttons to the TV. I'm gonna make my buttons like this. Okay, that's my power button and all that stuff. Okay, let's zoom in. And the if you look over here, you guys, the arm is pretty badly. It's, it's in bad shape. So let's uh, kind of replicate that look. Let me just erase a few of these. So I'm just going to draw spots like this. Random, randomly placed. And then I'm going to draw like cross hatching to show where she's been bruised and, and things like that. You can draw fingernails if you want to. So just use your discretion to figure out where you want to draw those spots and where you want to cross hatch. Just give that arm, give both arms that dirty look like it's it's been through, it's, she's been injured and, and stuff like it looks like she's been crawling out of, trying to crawl out of the well that she fell in or that they pushed her in, the mom pushed her in. Okay, let's add some details to the fingers okay so where the fingers curve you can draw that there there right here I'm not going across like that what you can draw here if you guys want to, uh, are several things you can, number one, what you can do is you can just like create like these static lines. So just draw some lines going straight across like this. I'm just doing it roughly, but um, if you guys want to use a ruler for it, go for it. So those are just static lines of the TV. And then you see, um, if you guys also want, you can draw the well that she crawled out of in the back which is where you get the title of the movie, The Ring, is the ring right here around the well. When they closed it shut, it sort of created like this eclipse shape that looked like a ring. So you can draw that, you can draw some trees, if you guys want to. But it's all kind of faded and blurry, so don't draw it into in too much detail or anything like that. I just, I probably won't even uh, draw that when I draw, when I start inking it. Okay, there you go pretty much done okay so let's draw some dripping marks because she is soaking wet she just crawled out of that well so you want to create like drips from her fingers going down and right here you can either depending on how tall you make the 
the TV stand, you can either have her touching the floor by now or still mid-air. And that's completely fine. It all depends on where you draw this. And I'm going to draw mine right here. So I'm going to draw the bottom part here. Again, remember the center is around here. You want to keep that consistent. Okay, so sort of guessing where I want that to go. You also want to make sure that your lines are parallel. And I'm going to draw a second line here. Here's the lower panel or the, the bottom part. And then right here, I'm going to close this off by creating these curves for the pillars. There you go. And I would probably just draw a line here. If you guys want to add like, you know, VHS tapes or, or DVDs along here, feel free to do that as well. Okay. There you go. So what I would do now is I would create a puddle of water just around here where she's crawling out of. And then yeah, just have, have her soaking wet coming out of the TV. There you go. So zooming out, there you have Samara Morgan or uh, Sadako Yamamura from either the Ringu, which is the original Japanese movie, or The Ring, the American remake of the movie. Both of them, I say, are pretty good. Uh, I find the the Ring, the, the American version, that was the movie I watched first, so that one was the one that creeped me out more. And yeah, let me know what you guys think of this and the movie as well. I'd love to hear your thoughts on which one is better, Ringu, the original, or the remake. And uh, that's it. So thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you guys were successful in your um, drawing. And uh, I will catch you in the next one. Take care and have fun. And that is all the time that we have today. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the very end of this video. I hope your drawings turned out great. If they did, I would love to see them. So please head on over to the Google Plus community, post your artwork there for people to enjoy, or post it on Instagram and tag me at draw2 so that I can see your artwork. If you are curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to do my tutorials, I have a list of that in the description of this video. So make sure to check that out there. I have a list of pencils that I use, camera equipment, uh, erasers, colors, and all that stuff. So definitely check it out if you are interested. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal if you, number one, like this video, comment it down below, share this with your friends in social media, and of course, subscribe. All of that in the description of this video. Make sure to check that out. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, Google+, and most importantly, on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a free coloring page of this tutorial right here. Links again in the description, so always make sure to read that description, you guys. And once again, thank you so much for watching this video. I will catch you in the next one. And till then, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. Take care.